Okay, we're going to prove a couple identities. So the first one, uh, I'm going to start with the left side. The left side looks a little more complicated. So I go secant of theta over cosecant of theta plus sine of theta over cosine of theta. Now, I want to simplify. I'm trying to get to tangent. So I, I see that we have a tangent right here. Okay, so I'm going to write this out. Secant of theta over cosecant of theta plus tangent of theta. And we're looking for two tangent of theta. You always want to look where you're going. My next step is I'm going to separate these to be secant of theta times 1 over cosecant of theta. What's our tangent of theta that we just found? Now, I'm going to change these over to sines and cosines. Secant is 1 over cosine of theta. 1 over cosecant is the same as sine of theta. So now you can see I have sine of theta over cosine of theta plus tangent of theta. So I get tangent of theta plus tangent of theta, which is my end result, 2 tangent of theta. So you can see that I proved it. My original statement of secant of theta over cosecant of theta plus sine of theta over cosine of theta does indeed equal 2 tangent to theta. Okay, and the second one. I'm going to start with the right side in this case. Let's try to start with the more complicated side. So I write that out. And I'm trying to get to sine, and I owe cosecant is the same as 1 over sine. So that's what I'm going to write. Just replace all the sines, excuse me, all the cosecants with 1 over sine of theta. Now, a classic thing that students do that are incorrect is that they try to cancel these out. You can't cancel these out because these belong to the whole of the denominator. So what we need to do is find a common denominator for the top and find the common denominator for the bottom. And I'm going to just do this. Think about making that sine over sine. And this will be sine over sine too because that's 1. So I end up getting 1 plus sine of theta over sine of theta. All of that over 1 minus sine of theta over sine of theta. So now I in, take the inverse the, the reciprocal, excuse me, of the bottom. And you can see what happens. Take the reciprocal of this, and my signs cancel. This happens a lot in these identities. We take, we have a complex fraction, so we take the reciprocal and multiply times the numerator. So this ends up canceling, and I get 1 plus sine of theta over 1 minus sine of theta. You can see that is my original left side. So I have indeed proved it. So therefore, 1 plus sine of theta over 1 minus 
sine of theta equals cosecant of theta plus one, cosecant theta minus one. 